Today, we will answer a geometry challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this figure, the goal is to find the area of the shaded region, or simply the red area. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the area of the shaded region or the red shaded part. And to answer this kind of question, of course, let's have the important points. The first one is the center of this circle. We want that because we want the radius of this circle. And also we want the radius of this semicircle. So we need the center of this semicircle. And another important point are the point of tangency. Because from the center of the circle, if we draw a radius to the point of tangency, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line. So here are the point of tangency. Now, to answer this, what we're going to do is to find first the radius of this circle. So let r be the radius of the circle. So this r, this also r. And the diameter is just 2r. And now, from here, what we're going to do is to bring down this diameter like this. Because from here, we can now get the diameter of the semicircle. And this is just 2r plus 8 plus 2, or simply 2r plus 10. This is the diameter of the semicircle. Now, how about the radius of the semicircle? So first, let's draw the radius of the semicircle like this. By the way, the center of the semicircle, the center of the circle, and the point of tangency are all collinear. This is not hard to prove. So by the way, the radius of the circle is r. And now, take note, what is the length of the radius of the semicircle? This is just half the diameter. We know the diameter is 2r plus 10. So the radius is just r plus half of 10 is 5. We have r. Therefore, the length of the segment from the center to this point is just 5 because this is r plus 5. And now from here, we will use again the length of the radius of the semicircle because if we draw the radius like this this is two units we know that and from this point point of tangency to this part this is the length of the radius of the circle so this is r and we know this radius is r plus 5 we have r plus 2 therefore this segment right over here simply equal to 3. So the radius is just r plus 5. And now from here, we will draw the radius of this circle in this format directly to the point of tangency because we know this is perpendicular to the tangent line or tangent segment. And now let's focus on this right triangle. Using this right triangle, we can now find the value of r. But this right triangle, the hypotenuse is 5, 1 leg is 3. This is the famous 3 part 5 right triangle. So even without using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that the length of this r or the radius of this circle simply equal to 4 units. And now from here, we know the radius of the circle. Now how about the radius of the semicircle? If r is 4, the diameter is 18. So let capital R be the radius of the semicircle. So R, capital R, is 9. And this is what we need to answer this question or to calculate the red area or the shaded region in this figure. So to calculate the red area, we need the area of the semicircle, which is 1 half pi capital R squared minus the area of the circle, which is pi small r squared. Now, we know the value of capital R and small r. So let's replace capital R and small r like this. 
Now, simplify. 1 half times pi times 9 squared, we have 81 pi over 2. And pi times 4 squared, we have 16 pi. Now, simplify. 81 pi over 2 minus 16 pi, this will give us 49 pi over 2. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the red region simply equal to 49 pi over 2 square units. And as always, we are done.